My dear friends, I would like to welcome all of you at our time when we meditate upon the saints of the church. I am Father Peter and I came to our parish a little more than a month ago and I am very happy that today is my turn to talk to you about the saint. And today I choose Saint Brendan of Cloneford one of the great leaders of Irish Christianity. Brendan was born in Ireland around 484. He was raised by Saint Ita. Then he completed his education with the Bishop of Kerry. As uh, Saint Patrick brought Christianity to Ireland, monastery life became a popular vocation and Brendan became a monk. He gathered his own followers and settled as abbot in his own community. The monastic life of the monks was full of strict rules. It is said that an angel appeared to give Brendan his orders rules. Each day, the monks prayed for several hours, observed long periods of silence, studied, ate just enough to survive, and slept on the cold floors in their cells. The monks also painstakingly copied uh, manuscripts of Greek and Roman literature to create exquisite illuminated manuscripts. Brendan also became a missionary, traveling throughout the island to Europe and even across the Atlantic. The monasteries he established became vital centers of art and learning. The most important one Brendan founded was Clonfert in Ireland, where as many as 3,000 monks may have lived. A popular legend called the Voyage of St. Brendan tells how Brendan had a group of monks travel in wooden boats to a delightful land of promise. The legend is peppered with adventure, sea monsters and crystal tower, flaming rocks, and then uh, accommodating, helpful whale. For many centuries, sailors have prayed to St. Brendan for protection, hoping that someday they would find the promised land. St. Brendan's Isle, but Brendan's uh, true legacy lies in his tireless zeal, which included God's teaching to so many. And we might say how we can incorporate St. Brendan's life to our own, how in 21st century we can follow his footsteps. An ocean voyage in Brendan's time involved as much danger as traveling in space today. We remember that in 1969, people all over the world were glued to their television sets as they watched Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. Although he had the support of a team of experts on the ground in Houston, Armstrong was on his own, over 200,000 miles away from Earth. No one who listened that day will ever forget his powerful words. One small step for man, one giant step, one giant leap for mankind. The world is filled with unknown dangers as we travel the road of life every day. But we can successfully meet those challenges with a renewed faith and hope in God. So we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing? If uh, we are facing sickness or adversity, we have to try not to be negative, believing that lessons can come from everything will renew your spirit and every, that's everything will renew your spirit. We cannot, don't try to solve problems alone. We have to learn to trust others and let them help. We cannot always protect our children, but we can always give them the power of our love. And let us finish with our prayer. Oh God, who had offered us today this most holy day, the day of the your confessor and abbot, the blessed Brendan, uphold thy church by his holy prayers, that he, that he whose merits are 
secured. May glory in thy mercies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.